Hi guys. This little project's been on my list of things to do for quite a long time. Uh, I'm copying a bug zapper modification done by Banjack66 back in 2011. Uh, I can't quite remember why I happen to be looking at this quite recently. Um, but I was, and I noticed he hadn't updated his channel since 2014. And then by complete coincidence, about a week after I'd been looking at his video, he actually commented on one of my videos. So I know he's still about. Um, there's a bit of a safety issue involved here, so I don't know if it's the sort of thing you want to try at home. It's using one of these bug zappers that you can usually buy in somewhere like Poundland for a pound and a capacitor out of a microwave oven. Now this one says uh, 1.05 microfarads uh, 2100 volts I don't know if this is one of the ones that's got an internal uh, resistor in it to discharge it. Oh, it has there. It says 10 mega ohms. But I still wouldn't want to put my fingers across the terminals after you've charged it up, just in case. And all you do is you take your bug zapper apart and where the two wires go up to the tennis racket uh, you solder on a couple of wires that you take out and connect them up to the capacitor uh, let's just have a look we'll press the button there now let's find something to short it out with charging. Yeah, we get a bit of a belt from it. And the idea is to significantly boost that by using that big capacitor. You can probably see the capacitor that's in there at the moment, that brown one. One says 2,000 volts. Hang on, I'll have to look a bit closer. No, nope, I can't see. It says 2,000 volts, but I can't see how many farads, microfarads. Well, I can't see it. I see 2,000 volts written on it. Anyway, um, I'll put a link to his video in my video description. Uh, I'll probably even link to it up here somewhere. Uh, so you can see what he did. And I'm just going to do the same. But I'm not going to show you me doing it. Because I want you to watch his video because if I copy somebody else's video I'd rather you watch their video than me trying to copy it. Right, job done. I've wired in the big capacitor. Uh, it should be discharged at the moment. So without the capacitor in circuit Okay. 
with the capacitor. <laughs> yeah, that does seem to have improved it a bit. Let's just turn the light off. We're not completely in the dark, I've still got the ordinary light on. Uh, just check it's discharged again. Oh, a little bit left. Right, that should be okay to pull that off. So press the button. Okay. Check it's discharged. Okay. Plug this one in. You really don't want to be touching those wires when it's charged. Okay, press the button. <laughs> yeah. That does seem to make a difference. It takes a while to use it up as well. Right, that should be discharged. There we go. It works. So that's Banjax 66, Bug Zapper Modification 2011, link will be in the video description. Just a couple of points with this, this is dangerous, that's uh, enough power there to give you quite nasty shock. The way I've got it wired up at the moment, where that terminal, and if I plug the other one in, they're both um, uninsulated, so you could touch them quite easily yourself. Uh, so this is just, to set it up, this isn't the final version, you'd need to put insulation around it to prevent you accidentally touching it. Uh, the other thing is, it's November and we've got no flies around so I can't actually zap any flies with it uh, and I would say this is probably a bit dangerous it's not the sort of thing I normally do but I wanted to try it because I'd seen the video and I had the parts component parts <laughs>